One has been waiting and it has happened, Gordon Brown, the relic of great Britishism, has surfaced to try to get his name in the papers. Yet, he has really nothing to say, Brown, Britain infected by bitter divisions, the Herald, November 19. He says so-called great British virtues of tolerance, reciprocity between nations are being displaced by adversarial nationalisms with the SNP threatening the hardest of hard separations. His solution first and foremost is that we need a Labour government, but we still would in the sclerotic incorporating union with House of Lords, crumbling monarchy and isolated from Europe. One must wonder what rose-tinted world Mr. Brown now lives in? His views of the British state in the past are selective as he omits the nasty bits such as colonialism, imperialism and the slave trade. He claims UK pragmatic internationalism is a virtue, in other words, leave out the UK's past crimes against humanity. As independence for Scotland is no more than a charter for international status according to the claim of right in line with UN charters for independent nations worldwide, how can such be seen as the hardest of hard separatism? Mr Brown's weird concept of the UK is a mere continuation of the present unfit-for-purpose state. The UK parties in Scotland are in trouble, yet Mr Brown never asks why? Perhaps he needs to look at developments post-2014. The vow was a lie. He was hoodwinked and outsmarted by perfidious Albion in the person of David Cameron, and so the clunking fist was shown to be a mere replaceable, compliant and willing cog in the Westminster machine. If there is to be a Labour government again in Scotland, then it needs to be a post-independence Labour Party revitalised after independence, a party with its unionist trappings consigned to the midden. John Edgar, Kilmowers. Boris Johnson is perfectly correct in avoiding a debate with Nicola Sturgeon. Johnson's double vow, no debate with FM and no in Diaf 2, The Herald, November 19. Miss Sturgeon does not want to debate the real issues that affect Scotland right now, her administration's failures on health, education, transport and the economy. She simply wants to grandstand her own view that Westminster is not working, the Tories are not working and Brexit is not working. Her only solution to all of this is independence. It may come as a shock to Nicola Sturgeon but Hollywood is not working and independence won't work either. If Miss Sturgeon were a little less extreme and a little more in touch with all of Scotland, not just her own supporters, a debate could be had. Her current position firmly rules this out. Dr. Gerald Edwards, Glasgow G77. I must confess to severe disillusionment. I have witnessed over the last few years the enthusiasm of your unionist correspondents to ensure the health of the Scottish pop. For more on this story, visit the news article link.